so after a long time c android stable version is here this is one of those custom rooms one of those popular custom room which brings you a lot of customizations and many of you believe that c android is one of the most smooth custom rooms right now and i tried that because of its vanilla version as it is not it does not come with the google apps pre-installed for most of the devices so yes smoothness was kind of expected it is quite smooth i tried it on some of my devices and it was actually quite smooth you have to check it out one thing let me tell you as you can see the webcam feature is not available in my device but in my other device which was pixel 7a i was getting webcam feature so as far as i know this could be the device specific feature so that is why it depends upon which device you use and then webcam feature might be available on your device one of the main highlights of using this version is regarding the quick settings panel you have the android 11 style quick settings panel available which you can customize there are many options available for you in CR world settings, moving on to the quick settings option, you will find the quick settings style styles. So you have the option to choose between circle and square and this one is circle plus square. So the tiles which are active will be uh, looked as circle. And the tiles which are non-active or inactive are considered as square tiles. As you can see, if you choose circle tiles, then if you open the quick settings panel once, all the tiles shape is in circle. And this is the one which you have enabled here. But if you want to change it, you don't want to look, look like this one. If you click this, click on default one. Let me tell you one more thing. If I enable this default one, because it will simply restart the system UI. So wait for it. If I open this once again, like this one, you have to change the quick settings portrait, for example, columns for portrait. For example, two is a default. So if you choose two once again, this is how the quick settings panel will look like. You can adjust the quick, quick settings rules and quick, quick settings columns, etc., etc. Many things which you can do. Including the Android 11 style quick settings panel where you also have some styles related to this Android 13 or 14 style quick settings panel too. We have the outline style, cyberpunk style it looks kind of okay, okay. I don't like it personally to be honest. But we have options related to this round. This looks good. I use this thing if I use Android 14 style quick settings panel. I, I use this thing. This looks good. And although the quick settings panel is in light mode, so they, these things look good too. If I move on to the other options like fingerprint and face unlock, face unlock is also present here as far as I know it was not available previously. So face unlock is added but one thing keep in mind after enabling turning on face unlock on a device you have to reboot once to make it working. I'm not exactly sure though why but it was listed on the official website you can go and check it out in case you need to know more about that. If I move on to the other options, you will find Island notification, which is basically renamed version of retaker notification, a little bit improved actually. Like in the retaker notifications, if you click that notification, it simply open that app. But in this case, for example, if you if you are getting any call, if you click that notification, it will simply pick up the call. This is the major difference which I noticed. But other than else, like the now playing options, we have some kind of notifications UI changed um kind of okay but you can go and check it out and explore them other than else because this is cr droid and we have the cr droid launcher available here one thing let me tell you that it's based with the latest december security patch but this launcher is still here which means all the customizations what you were looking forward to in a custom launcher already present here quick actions which includes the recent panel screenshot which you can enable i mean screenshot action which you can enable lens button or and else one more thing is in the miscellaneous section, you will find the hidden and protected apps feature because app locker is not available by default in the settings app. But in case you want to use app locker, in case you use app locker on your device, then you can turn on that feature by moving into this options in the launcher. So if you use the CR launcher, you can even use the app locker. But if in case you change it, you will not be able to use that. We also have the cloned apps feature available and it's working fine. Because with this version, as far as I know, CR Android is bringing you new Google apps, not exactly a new one, but they actually, they actually made a partnership with, or they actually merged with see Nick Google apps. In case you don't know, Nick Google apps is quite popular Google apps package for a lot of Android devices, a lot of custom rooms. So now it's with the partnership of Nick Google apps, you can install that thing on your device too. And all those Google apps include some setup process and much more things you can you can find out more information on their on their website you can find out the link in the description for that other options like the customizations 
it already brings you a lot of customizations in everything for example the status bar customizations where you can enable or disable some icons from there in clock and date settings you will find the background chip option which i always enable if the option is available in that custom room quick settings options are also present i've already told you regarding the android 11 style quick settings panel but other than else there are no major options or late customizations related to it we have the option related to quick setting tiles animations and data usage option is available there we also have some options related to lock screen which you can find out here and you can enable or disable some gestures for example double tap to sleep etc navigation mode are kind of same options not having major options to customize or configure buttons same kind of options available here in power menu you have the option to use a secure lock screen option which is a very useful thing in user interface you will find the options related to customizations for example icon pack customizations are present here for example icon shape customization fonts customizations the options related to almost every kind of thing like theming options everything is present here in case you don't know that including this thing one more thing let me tell you in the notification section you will find the island notification i've already told you four stop button and heads up notification is already present here because retaken notification is replaced with island notification so you will not find that retaken notification option there sound which means screenshot sound one feature is missing from here that is ignore window secure flags that might be added in the next version but other than else these were things this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this don't forget to like this video i will see you in the next one goodbye